I'm Stan CTO at IABM and Newsroom computer systems have been around for a while, but there's new stuff happening and I think people really needed to know about it. So I've got Dean here from Newsmaker and you've been in a business for quite a while, but just tell us what you do in a nutshell. Well, we started in the newsroom business in 1989, but these days we offer a fully functional broadcast news automation system. Where within a newsroom computer system, you can associate media assets and define the style that you want a particular item to be. Then in the control room, we have a user interface where basically you hit a button. Rather than having to know how to use the switcher's control panel, you're just merely next, next, next through the show. We do all the work for you. So when we talk about automation, let's get a little deeper into that. Well, automation uh, has several benefits to it. Uh, the first benefit is obviously that that allows you better control over your product because everything can be tied to the producer in the newsroom system. Uh, you don't have several pieces of equipment being run by several people so that in one place you can take an action and have all of it uh, occur simultaneously just through that simple thing. Uh, it also gives you the benefit of uh, the the people that you hire, you don't have to have as skilled a crew. They don't have to know how to run the vision mixer, the, the switcher. Uh, since we give them a user interface, which is basically next, 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 they become automation operators as opposed to vision mixers. So the issue with news is you've got to move things around every now right. and again. We use a protocol called MOSS which integrates us tightly with the newsroom system. So if the producer moves an item, drops an item, changes an item, we get notified. And even while you're on the air, you have the ability to make changes to the show uh, and we will pick it up and, and make the corresponding adjustments in our system. Right, so let's just talk about redundancy for a minute yeah. because you said, you know, next, 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 but yes. what happens if there's an issue? Well, we have several levels of redundancy within our system. Uh, first off, we're a stable product. It's been around for about 10 years now, so we have the, the experience to have a reliable product. Uh, our server that our system is based on is, has a lot of redundancy, redundant power supplies, redundant disk drives, redundant network uh, ports on it. So should any particular part fail, you can just simply switch to another. We're also offering a fully redundant live real-time system where you have the one button in the one PC, but it talks to two of our boxes and each box has its own switcher. So they both have the same media load, they both have the same rundown. Uh, so you hit the button once and we're, we're running two separate parallel production chains which meet again at master control and if you should happen to have a problem on one side with the switch of one button you can switch to the other side you're just exactly where you were in real time. So this sounds expensive. No actually uh, we have based our system on some products that that are full featured but yet cost effective. We've uh, in terms of a switcher, uh, we primarily use the, uh, the TriCaster, which has all the features you would want from virtual sets to green screens to, to embedded uh, media players and so forth. So there's a lot of cost effectiveness to that. Uh, we're fully integrated with graphics packages. Um, for example, here we're demonstrating with the new Blue FX. So uh, it, it gives you all of the capabilities, but it is also a PC-based system. You build the template in new Blue, and then load it up within our plugin in the newsroom system, uh, add the text, add a graphic, and we will, during the show production, manage what's going on in the graphics box. So again, you hit the one button, and, and everything can happen at that one time. Well, I'm impressed about your redundancy because a lot of people don't think about that when they put systems together. So, great to know you today, Dean, and good chat. Thanks. Thank you, Stan.